thank you for viewing us from the Diplomat College Center. Global Diplomat College Center. Greenville, South Carolina. Joseph Forbes, God Holy Prophet Ambassador. By the will of God. Transforming students into leaders, leaders and agents of change. Transforming students into leaders, leaders and the agents of change. I want to focus what I believe shall be the keys of kingdom of heaven living. On earth. Earth need heaven. Welcome to our online seminar being brought to you by the Diplomat Center, Greenville, South Carolina. Our focus session today is is Kingdom Assignment Governor Holy Spirit. Kingdom Assignment of the Governor the Holy Spirit. Part 1. Kingdom Assignment of the Governor Holy Spirit, Part 1. You must be first born in a kingdom to preach kingdom. How can you preach a kingdom that you don't understand? So you must have experience, you must have some type of application, apply the kingdom to your personal life to order to preach the kingdom. In this session, I will share to you what I'm really talking about. The Bible is the most complicated book on earth. Misunderstand book on earth. Before you preach the Constitution, you must understand the Constitution. The Bible is a collection of God idea. It's a library. It contains 66 books. I'm making myself clear. When you're approaching the Bible, you're not approaching a religious book. You're approaching a legal document. Kingdom assignment. Kingdom assignment. Assignment is a duty, a job, a task that an authority give you to perform. Ang isang assignment ay isang 
isang trabaho, isang task, isang duty na ibinigay ng isang hari para iyong gawin. Kings and government give assignment to ambassadors, to their leaders, to carry out kingdom or nation assignment. Ang mga hari nga ay nagpipigay ng mga takda na gagawin sa mga sa kanyang mga pinamumuno o mga pinuno. This assignment is about kingdom assignment of the governor, the Holy Spirit. Itong assignment na to ay ang kingdom assignment ng governor ng banal na espiritu. Kingdom is different from religion. Ang kingdom ay kakaiba sa relihiyon. Kingdom is different from democracy. Ito ay kakaiba o iba sa demokrasya. Religion is not a kingdom, nor democracy. Ang relihiyon ay hindi kingdom kahit na ang demokrasya. Religion is ideology of man, man search for God. Ang relihiyon ay ang paghahanap ng tao sa Diyos. Ito ay ideolohiya ng tao. But kingdom It's a government. Democracy is about a government. Ang kingdom o kaharihan ay isang gobyerno. Ang demokrasya ay isang uri na ginawang gobyerno ng tao. Let me give you some knowledge about kingdom. And let me give you some explanation about democracy. Democracy came from dead man idea. Aristotle, Plato, Greek philosophers. Ang demokrasya ay galing sa mga Greek philosophers na si Aristotle, Plato, Socrates. Ito ay mga patay na tao na at ang kanilang ideya ay ito ang demokrasya. Sophocle, Plato, or Greek philosophers. Sila ay mga Greek philosophers. America And Canada and many other nations in democracy operate from the graveyard. Kaya nga ang buong bansa ng sa buong mundo ay napapakilos ng mga tao mula sa libingan. The one who had invented the democracy, he is dead. At ang nagimbento ng demokrasya ay mga patay na. But the one who Bring forth kingdom is alive. Ngunit ang nagdala ng kaharian o kingdom ay buhay na buhay. Kingdom is from above. Ang kaharian ay mula sa taas. Democracy is from beneath. Ngunit ang demokrasya ay sa ibaba, sa patay, sa lupa. Kingdom is about a king. Ang kaharian ay tungkol sa hari. Democracy is about prime minister and the president. Ngunit ang demokrasya ay tungkol sa mga prime minister at mga presidente. Let me share something for you. Ayan yung ishare ko sa inyo ito. Democracy have the executive branch, the legislative branch, And uh, let us state the executive and the judicial branch of government. Three branch. Ang demokrasya ay tatlong sangay, ang hekotibo, ang legislative, at ang judicial branch of government. Legislative, judicial, and also executive. Ang executive, ang judicial at legislative branch ng government. And other form who make up government, they have the military, they have the secretary of state, they have the army, they have many other different section that make up government. At iba't iba pang mga section na nabubuo sa uri ang sistema ng pamahalaan, ang military, ang at iba pa. But in the kingdom. The king is a person. Ngunit sa kaharian, ang hari ay ang tao. The Holy Spirit is a person. Ang banal na espiritu ay isang persona. Jesus is a person. 
Ang Panginoong Jesus ay persona. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is one God. Ang Ama, Anak, at Ambaran ng Espiritu ay isang Diyos. Hello, Israel, the Lord our God is one. Dinggin nyo, Bansang Israel, ang inyong Panginoon ay iisa lang. So, the judicial branch is in one God. Kaya nga, ang judicial branch ay nasa iisang Diyos lamang. The legislative branch is in one God. At ang legislative branch ay nasa isang Diyos lamang. The executive branch is in one God. At ang ekotibong sangay ay nasa iisang Diyos lamang. Hallelujah. Wow. Wow. He's king. Siya ay hari. King forever. Siya ay hari magpakailan pa man. Oldest king that ever wore. Ang pinakamatandang hari. Ancient of days. The assignment of the Holy Spirit. Ang takdang gawain ng banal na Espiritu. John 16 and 8. And when he come, he will convict. The world of a sin. Righteousness. Judgment. Because the prince of this world is being judged. Sapagkat ang prinsipe ng salagutang ito ay nahatula na. The devil being judged. Ang jablo ay nahatula na. The world of sin. Ang mundo ng salagutan. Convict. God. Righteousness. And judgment. Convict the world of sin. Ang siyang uusig sa salibutan sa kasalanan. To prove that everything the world done is sin. Upang patunayan ang lahat ng ginagawa ng salibutan ay kasalanan. Need God righteousness. Kailangan ng Diyos na kailangan natin ang katwiran ng Diyos. We'll soon get God judgment. At ng katulan ng Diyos. Wow. Wow. I'll share how the Holy Spirit function, what's its duty, what's its work. When the advocate come home, I will send to you from the Father. The advocate come whom I will send from the Father. Let me explain that to you. The Queen of England stayed in England. She sent a governor to the territories that she colonized, the Bahamas, Canada, Australia, Hong Kong, many of the nations she colonized, she stayed in England while the governor go to these colonies and colonize these colonies. Ang reyna nga na Inglaterra ay nagsugo ng gobernador at siya nga ay ngunit siya ay nanatili lamang sa Inglaterra at sinugo nga niyang gobernador sa Bahamas, sa Australia, sa Hong Kong at sa iba't iba't pang lugar ngunit ang siya lamang ay nanatili sa Inglaterra. God, Abba, Papa, the King, stayed in heaven when He sent the Holy Spirit To work to colonize earth. Ang Dios, ang Abba, ang our Father, ay na naratili lamang sa langit 
nang sinugo niya ang banal na espiritu sa lupa. He is called fruit. Spirit of fruit. Siya ay, tina- siya ay tinatawag na espiritu ng katotohanan. Spirit of the Father, the King. Spirit of fruit. Ang espiritu ng Ama, ng Hari. Who Jesus will send in His name. Na siya ang isusugo ng Panginoong Yesus sa kanyang pangalan. He will testify of me. Siya ay magpapatutuo para sa akin. He will testify of me and also must testify for you have been with me from the beginning. At ako naman ay magpapatotoo para sa inyo na siyang nanatili sa akin mula ng simula. All this I tell you so that you will not fall away. Ito ay sinasabi ko sa inyo upang kayo ay huwag bumagsak. They will push you out of their churches, the synagogues. Kayo ba ay tatakwil sa mga sinagoga? They think that they doing God service when they put you out. Nakala nila na nagadob sila ng paglilingkod sa Diyos. They will do these things because they're known, not known to Father. Gagawin nila mga bagay na ito sapagat hindi nila kilala ang Ama. You talk about the kingdom, the pastor read to put you out to church. Pagkam tinutukoy ninyo, pinag-uusapan ay tungkol sa karian, palalayasin kayo ng mga pastor sa inyong iglesia. Because they don't know the king. Sapagat hindi nila kilala ang hari. They will kill you! They think that they don't God service! Papatayin nila kayo sapagat kala nila ay ginagawa nila ang paglilikod sa Diyos. Because they don't know the father. Sapagat hindi nila kilala ang ama. The Holy Spirit sent to convict the world of sin. At ang bala na Espiritu nga ay sinugo upang usigin ang mundo sa kasalanan. When He comes, He will prove the world to be wrong. At pagka siya nga ay tumarito ay kanyang susubatan ng salibutan tungkol sa kasalanan at sa katwiran at sa paghato. About sin, righteousness, and judgment. Kasalanan, sa katwiran, at sa kahatulan. Because the people don't believe on me. Sapagat ang mga tao ay hindi nagsisisampalataya sa akin. So the rest of don't believe on me. Ang Judaism ay hindi naniniwala sa akin. Christianity don't believe on me. At sila nga hindi naniniwala sa akin. Islam don't believe on me. Ang Islam ay hindi naniniwala sa akin. Hinduism don't believe on me. Kahit ang Hinduism ay hindi naniniwala sa akin. Because I go to my father. Pupunta nga ako sa ama. Where you can see me no longer. At hindi nyo na ako makikita. About... Judgment because the prince of the world is being judged. Jablo, the devil, is being judged. Wow. wow. I have so much to say to you. More you can bear. But when the spirit of truth comes, He shall guide you in all truth. Mayroon pa ako marami bagay na sa inyo isasabihin, ngunit hindi na niyo ito mga titiis. Kayo may kung dumating ang spirito ng katotohanan, ay papatubayan niya kayo sa buong katotohanan. He shall not speak what he hear, but he shall speak what he shall not only speak what he hear, and he will tell you your things to come. He will glorify because it's from me that he will receive what is mine and give unto you. All belongs to the Father, belongs to mine. 
That is why I say the Spirit will receive from me and give to you. Ang lahat ng mga bagay na nasa amay akin kaya sinabi ko na siya'y kukuha sa akin at sa inyo'y ipahahayag. Luluwati niya ako sapagat kukuha siya sa nasa akin at sa inyo'y ipahahayag. You welcome to Holy Spirit. The assignment of the Holy Spirit. Ang trabaho at ang takda ay Spirito. Come to connect you to the kingdom of God. Ay dumating upang kayo ay ugnay sa karihan ng Diyos. Now, shocking, shocking! Shocking, shocking! John the Baptist! Juan Bautista! Before he was born! Bago pa siya ay panganak! Was filled with the Spirit. Siya ay puspos ng balal na Espiritu. He was born with the Holy Ghost. You cannot preach the Holy Ghost unless you be born in the Holy Ghost. His papa could not talk. But he God he didn't believe the angel. Angel say your wife shall conceive and have a son and his name shall be John. At sinabi nga kay Zacharias, ang ikaw ay ang iyong asawa ay mangangalak at ang pangalan tatawagin mo sa kanya ay John. He shall come in the power and spirit of Elisha. Siya ay darating sa kapangyarihan at espiritu ni Elias. The power and the spirit of Elisha. Ang kapangyarihan at espiritu ni Elias. To turn the disobedient children back to their parents. The spirit of Elijah. He should not drink any wine. No, any strong drink. He shall be filled with the spirit from his mama womb. He will be a joy and delight to you. Many will rejoice in this word. He will be great in the sight of God. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit before he was born. He bring back many Israelites to God. He come to prepare the way for the Lord. Am I making myself clear? Now in the church at Antioch. Ecclesia. You know, everybody's been in church, thousands, millions, every place, all over the world. They misunderstand the word church. The word church is Ecclesia. Ang salitang church ay eklesia. Eklesia is senate of the king. Ang eklesia nga ay ang senado ng hari. It don't mean a building with benches and pews and you sing and go to prayer meeting and Bible study. It don't mean that. Hindi ito nangangahulugan na ito ay gusali na merong mga silya at merong kayong mga Bible study at kayong mga nag-aawitan. Hindi ganoon ang kahulugan ng eklesia. It is a legal statement. Ito ay isang legal na pangungpas na salita. Every prime minister have cabinet. Every president have cabinet. Ang bawat prime minister at pangulo ay may mga cabinet. So is God the King. Ecclesia is the cabinet of the king. 
Ganon din ang Diyos, ang Hari, ang Eklesia, ang Kabinet o Kabinete ng Hari. <laughs> you know, if Jesus come to America, he'll be surprised. Alam nyo, pag si Jesus ay darating, bibisita sa Amerika, siya ay magugulat. You know, if he come to the Philippines, and you know, if he go to Asia, and many of Canada, Australia, he'd be surprised. Pag siya ay bumisita sa Asia, sa Philippines, sa Canada, sa Australia, at iba't ibang lugar, siya ay magugulat. To see all these memorial, memorial cemetery that man put up, they go to Sunday And they go every Sunday memorialize, memorialize, memorialize with ritual and tradition, trying to memorialize Jesus. Jesus is alive! At pagka bumisita nga siya sa mga iglesyang ito, ay magugulat siya na kanilang palagi inaalaala ang kanyang kamatayan. Ngunit ang Panginoong Jesus ay buhay! Hallelujah! He's alive! Hallelujah! Si Jesus ay buhay! He's not dead! He's risen forevermore. Stop memorializing Jesus. Preach the kingdom. Wow. Wow. Now, you have to be sent by the Holy Ghost before you can preach. Many people preaching on YouTube. I got a question for you. Are you sent by the Holy Ghost? Many people preaching on TBN. Are you sent by the Holy Ghost? Are you sent by your bishop? Let me explain that. Now in the church and Antioch, there were prophets, more than one, prophets and teachers. It don't mean Baptist church and Seventh-day church and many of these churches, they don't believe in prophets. It means in the church of Antioch. Barnabas, Simon, Nigel, Cyrene, who wrote up with Herod the treacherous, and Saul. While they were ministering to the Lord, worshiping up the Lord, hallelujah, 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 with fasting and praying. The governor, the Holy Spirit, said, set apart for me. Barnabas and Saul, which is named Paul. For the work which I have them to do. Set aside for me, the Holy Ghost. Sila nga ibukot ninyo para sa akin, sabi ng banal na Espiritu. So they laid their hands on them and prayed for them. Kaya nga sila ipinatungan ang kamay at pinalalangin sila. And they were sent by the Holy Ghost. At sila nga ay sinugo ng banal na Espiritu. They were not sent by Pope Paul or Pope Francis. They were not sent by your superintendent of your church. They were not sent by your bishop. But they were sent by the Holy Ghost. Paul was sent by the Holy Ghost. Si Pablo ay sinugo ng banal na Espiritu. Joseph God, Holy Prophet, was sent by the Holy Ghost. 
You must be sent by the Holy Ghost. But one who's coming, who surely is not able to unloose. It shall baptize you with fire and the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's called the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is in the Holy Ghost. You must get in the kingdom. Get in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Thank you again for viewing us. Coming to you from the Different Mass College Center, Greenville, South Carolina. A combination of the United States and the Philippines together spreading the good news of Jesus Christ throughout the world. We thank you from Australia. We thank you from Canada. We thank you from Asia, and we thank you from uh, many other countries around the world who who be on us, Germany. Thank you for uh, Russia. Thank you, many other countries spreading the good news of Jesus Christ around the world. This is Joseph, God, Holy Prophet and Ambassador, and Elder, God, Ambassador, Ambassador by the will of God. The next time. Come to our seminar. Visit our seminar. Go online and hear our seminar. Kingdom of Simon, Government of the Holy Spirit. Government of the Holy Spirit, Part 2.